So I heard that the Japanese Spider-Man is coming after the Shovel Ninja Gang. If he comes here, I'll throw him right off the top of this building. Ho 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 ho. Hey, there he is! Let's get him! Okay. I got him! Fuck that screen! Fight up, brutality! The itsy bitsy spider went up the fire spout. Get him, boys! Die, Jeffrey! 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 Die, Everybody hit the dance floor! I'm here to kick ass and play video games and I'm all out of quarters. Game over, Spider-Man! Fight us! Dream! Fight us! 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 Fight Hey, so I guess everyone decided to dress up as this non-violent chump. <laughs> this costume is itchy. Could you imagine wearing it all the time? Good thing our day job is human trafficking. I've heard Japanese Spider-Man was in town. Oh, don't worry about him. He ain't worth nothing. He doesn't even use violence. Japanese Spider-Man by Demon Lord Gobo is the most nonsensical roller coaster of a game on Dreams right now. And I love every second of it for exactly that reason. Do the graphics look like garbage? Absolutely. Is the voice acting terrible? You bet it is, and so wonderfully so. But is it fun to play? And the answer is a resounding yes. Demon Lord combines surprisingly strong fighting mechanics with a ridiculous concept by reviving the 1970s Spider-Man crafted so infamously inside Japan. As a result, we are giving this the highest praise a 3 out of 5 star game can get.